Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis Ajay. For those of you who do not know me, I am a content creator, entrepreneur, foodie, fashionista, who still uses that word in this day and age, but yeah, you kind of get my drift. Um, welcome to my channel. Today, 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 oh yeah, so today we're doing a H&M clove home haul with um, a Zara haul as well, Zara home haul. Um, if you guys have not heard my story regarding Zara, I tend not to shop their clothes anymore. Doesn't really make a difference because it's all going to the same business. But I just tend not to wear their clothes as much anymore because um, I had a really bad experience with them a couple of years ago. Was it last year? And I got kicked out of their store and yeah, it was just a hot mess. So um, I just kind of boycotted the brand for a while. I only recently just started going back in there to pick up things. I still shop for my boys in there. Um, I haven't really shopped for myself in there as much. I've bought one or two things that if it was worn, you wouldn't know it's from Zara. You just think it's from somewhere. So, but nothing like, oh my gosh, yeah, she got that from Zara, if you know what I mean. I'm slowly, I've slowly started to forgive them again. As you can see, I will not see, but this is this video has a zara home haul in it as well so basically i just went to um blue water blue water is a massive shopping center not massive but a shopping center um if you're american it's so like a mall and i just went there with my mum one day and decided to pick up some stuff um i've we've had this shelving unit you guys have probably seen me talk about it in our vlog this is the latest piece to our home and I haven't done anything with it. It's kind of been a dumping ground, if I'm being honest. Um, haven't put anything really on there. I just emptied out the box that used to be in here. So down below there's like all books and just nothing's like, it's not styled basically. And it's very brown and gold, which is not what I really wanted for the living room. So I'm going to restyle it after I've done this video, <laughs> after I've shown you what I got for my shelves and also what I bought from H&M clothes, like their fashion range and their home range. So yeah, without further ado, I just wanna stop waffling now. Let's get into this video. So I picked up some stuff. Um, the wardrobe is very neutral. Um, not wardrobe, sorry, the pieces that I picked up were very neutral because I really wanted to um, get some neutral bits. I will be going away at the end of the year and hopefully I'll be going away before then, like a proper holiday without kids hopefully so i'm hoping i'm kind of like you know speaking it into existence so to speak um the stuff that i bought that i can wear on holiday so a lot of the things are neutrals they're browns they're beiges um so this is actually from h&m i'll stand up and show you guys it's a waistcoat single buttons that can be buttoned like so so if i was to wear this like with nothing underneath or just like a bra I'd button it up but if I'm wearing a top which this top is also from H&M just fix myself up so it's like a crochet top you can see my fupa and these pants as well are from H&M you can't really see them but I will try and put a picture up for you guys so you can see but they are just some really nice linen blend trousers um with a split down the middle at the front and i've just paired it up with this lovely waistcoat or gilet or vest as some people like to call it and this um crochet knit top which i absolutely love so that's i got these three pieces from h&m i got this full price this full price and the trousers in the sale the trousers if I can remember, were £34.99. I got them for £20. So without further ado, I want to show you what else I got from H&M. So I got this lovely crochet knit dress. It's handmade and it's made... A lot of the things I got were like from recycled cotton and stuff like that. I didn't even realise. But I got this full price. I got this from their website. And I think it's absolutely lovely. It works beautiful as a cover up on the beach. Um, or you can actually wear it out if you're that risque, but I'm not encouraging anyone to do that. I love the details at the bottom. 
the little tassels at the bottom I think those are really nice um, love the cut of the top is very similar to the cut that I'm wearing now and it's very flattering so yeah I'm absolutely in love with this piece and it stretches really well I got a medium to large just in case one day I'm pregnant again and I want to wear it so I can um, but yeah I think it's a lovely piece and I'm really excited to wear this if I was to wear this I would probably pair it up with a maybe brown bikini or if you want a pop of color I would do if if or a pop of color I think anything kind of works underneath this if you want something that's going to be seen through the cover up then I guess you wear a pop of color if you want something a bit more neutral you can wear brown you wear black um and I would wear these with sandals I'd probably pair these up with my Hermes sandals that's how I would wear it um and I'd probably carry my Loewe straw bag oh the sun's coming out so the light in, in here is changing thank god because I was really getting annoyed at how cloudy it was looking out there so that's what I would wear with that outfit then also I picked up I put this on my Instagram the other day or yesterday actually now this is like a mustardy yellow color I've got it in like a cream beige um, <clears throat> and I also bought three more <laughs> in beige and two brown ones so I absolutely love these little crop top vests they're so stretchy they're ribbed hope you can see that they're ribbed and they're so flattering and they fit well and they're six pounds so i picked up a few of these from h&m which i think everyone should i'll try and link everything down below in the description box for you guys sorry my hair is just really just doing its own thing today um so you can pick these up and everything else that i'm showing you today um i also got this dress Gosh, it's just so what is happening it's picking up this and making me dark <laughs> um i also picked up this tunic from h&m which i absolutely adore it gives me moroccan vibes it's literally hasn't got any fastenings or buttons it's just like a v-neck cut it's quite thick so i don't know how well that's going to hold up in like Ghana or um on holiday like a really really hot country but if I was to wear it I would literally just wear a bikini underneath and call it a day I wouldn't wear anything else um or maybe some light linen trousers but even then because it's quite thick I probably wouldn't and I'm I, I don't think I I would never buy not that I would never but I don't remember putting this in my basket but it came with the um tunic same material it's a cropped kind of like belly top vest kind of thing um same material so i'm guessing if you wear it you're supposed to wear it underneath so the choice is yours or i think this works with a nice pair of high waist trousers linen trousers and um, maybe like a oversized shirt or something this will look really good i pro probably wouldn't wear them together because i'm quite busty and it might look a bit weird so yeah that's that's just that's just me but Feel free to i love this i think it's it's got bell sleeves like it's very loose so and because it's got holes in it i i don't think it will be that bad because it's like a knit knitted item like air can get through easily so it might not be so bad on holiday come to think of it um this i can't remember the price but i will link it down below for you as well next up i got a pair of brown trousers i got this in store so this i really wanted to get some nice neutral tailoring basically tailored bits bits i can wear on holiday and just neutrals i just was really drawn to it and i didn't have much in my um wardrobe so and i'm doing a clear out as well so i kind of just wanted to re-up things so i got these brown pair of trousers now i thought they were going to be a bit more loose but they're actually like cigarette pants um uh, tapered they're like tapered so they go narrow down the bottom but i do love them on me i wore them to church actually on sunday with the oversized white shirt this on top and this pair of trousers so i've worn these already and um i actually love the way they look unfortunately i didn't get a picture on sunday because it was really doom and gloom the weather like it was so 
windy and moody and to be honest by the time the church service has finished I was like all creased up because it's linen it's like cottons all these things so yeah sorry guys I keep fapping around with my hair okay let's just leave it alone so yeah love these trousers love the fit I got them in a size 12 because your girl has put on weight but we're trying to go down to like an eight stroke ten so wish us luck but i absolutely love these trousers i love the material of them as well they feel really good um i'm not sure what they're made of they are made from lyocell and polyester but it's got like a silky kind of texture to it but i love the color it's very flattering on my skin and um love the love the texture love the quality of the trousers Got those in the sale as well i got them for 10 pounds and they were like 24.99 or something next up i also got another pair of trousers um so these are really loose wide leg cream tailored pants they're quite stretchy they're not the same material as the trousers that i'm wearing now which i think is quite good because then it's not easily it's not gonna crease easily like you know when you're out and about it's quite elasticated um and i got this in a medium they were 34.99 and i got them for 17 pounds i think i even got them for 10 i haven't looked at my receipt but i think it was cheaper because it was in the 10 pound section and there's quite a few of them there so i think i got them for a lot cheaper so if you guys head down to the h&m stores or go online you'll get some really good bargains but I love this. I can wear these with trainers. I can dress them up with um, sandals. I would probably, if I was to wear these, rock them with my Chanel sandals on holiday or just on a really nice day in London, actually. Well, we don't get much of those, so <laughs> we'll see about that. Next, I also got another blazer. Now, I've got a cream blazer from H&M already, but it's quite, it's actually a blazer dress but i wear it as just a blazer i haven't worn it as a dress just yet but it's quite thick um and the arms are made they're cropped up arms so even if i wanted to wear them full length i can't they're actually made like that so i did want another blazer and i wanted a linen blazer so i found one in h&m just hanging around again cream in color this would be lovely on holiday with a pair of shorts and a nice top or even just day to day just throw it over something i love like a you know a loose fitting blazer it's, i got it for 20 pounds but it was originally 34.99 as well so i mean i think it was a good price it was um what size was it i got it in medium but yeah i love it it's got pockets I think it's got pockets. No, it hasn't got pockets. Has it got pockets? No, these days blazers don't come with pockets. So there's no pockets. But I've tried it on. The fit is great. It's boxy. It's loose fitting. Um, like I said, I didn't want anything too tight or anything like that. I wanted loose fitted, tailored, linen <laughs> neutrals. So that's what I bought. And I'm absolutely pleased with that purchase finally from the clothes haul i got a brown shirt and i got it in large i got a white shirt exactly the same but i got that one online um but yeah i got a brown one as well i'm really into i don't know if you guys know about the frankie shop they're on instagram and they sell their bits on netta porter as well i think they sell them on matches fashion i'm yet to get anything from them but i do love how they style loose fitted shirts and i'm i'm just in love with it so until i and i want to be i really want to get a green shirt but i can't find one they have one but it's like hundred and something pounds so i'm still thinking if i want to get it or not or just wait till i don't know h&m or zara do one but yeah just a plain fitted loose fitted shirt um you can wear it button up very loose like again this with maybe uh, the little crop top thingy bob that i got maybe with this underneath and a high high waisted um pair of trousers or a skirt with this shirt i think works and if i was to wear it i'd probably pair it up with my um bottega raffia stretch sandals the shirt and 
this little bralette thing underneath so yeah that's how i would probably wear it and i would again carry the loewe basket bag and that's really it from the h&m haul it wasn't much but i mean well the clothes haul anyway but we're going to move on to houseware goods so like i said this unit behind me that you can see it's just been a dump from ground i've even had to like sweat out a little bit before i came on camera because it's like nah there was that like, hand sanitizer pictures um just random stuff um like this was on there this belongs to the kitchen but it was up there <laughs> so this is what i'm saying like it was just like a dumping ground but um i'm gonna show you guys what i got from h&m for h&m home for the unit and i think i've got some other little bits as well generally for the house so without further ado let's get the stuff out so i got a bath mat for my upstairs bathroom because i wanted a new one it's a shaggy um bath mat i love the color very neutral again i'm very into my neutrals at the moment um the one that we've got there is gray and it's just I was, i've been meaning to change it for a long time i just haven't got around to it so it's just a round bath mat from h&m home which i'm absolutely loving at the moment first up oh god I got this huge candle. It's not huge. I saw a massive one in Zara, by the way, but I got this lovely. I feel like H&M do the best candles, like hands down. I haven't enjoyed candles as much as I have done from as for, as I have done from H&M. Like I get candles from different places. I get gifted candles, but H&M just they always get it right. This is a supply sublime patchouli i don't know if i'm saying it right patchouli candle i've got one upstairs actually but um i think it's i'm sure it's patchouli as well and it's from h and i haven't burnt it yet it comes with this cork lid and i think it looks really nice and will sit pretty on my shelf um i will definitely burn it because it smells gorgeous but generally just the packaging and everything it looks nice it's just a nice little ornament piece on the shelf so very happy with that then i got this i'm sure many of you have seen this um little vase from h&m i've seen it quite a bit but it wasn't online it wasn't online i managed to pick it up in store so everything i'm showing you at the bags now is from the store um and i love the matte stone finish um that's very on trend right now isn't it and no one's really picking up like shiny glossy vases at the moment um very into stoneware so this is absolutely beautiful can't wait to add it and it's just going to brighten up this area because it's very brown and gold like there's nothing there's no contrasting colors it is going to stay neutral but um yeah i'm adding some some different tones of neutrals just to balance it out, balance it out i definitely want to change that um vase out for like a clear one or maybe black or white i just feel like it's just too much gold going on i've got a gold plinth table from h&m but the vase that the pampas grass is in is from john lewis and i just i really want to change it out so i have a bit like just a bit of balance of what's going on over there so love love this from H&M I will link it below if you guys are interested in getting it um won't be putting anything on top but I will leave it like this oh by the way that's the only piece on this shelf that is done it's a range of books with a H&M bowl and some beads hanging out of it I don't know if you guys can see it I'll probably show you later <laughs> so next is this lovely vase from H&M home there's actually two I got this one and I got a bigger one that looks a bit like no it doesn't actually but i'm sure everyone remembers that vase from yeah the 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 bomb vase by An anisa kamichi kamichi kamiche kamichi kamiche anyway everyone knows that vase um i personally didn't want to get it i could get it i i loved it. i think the vase is actually really nice but i 
opted out from getting it because everyone has it and I just think people are just buying it because I don't know the influencers have got it and said go and buy it it is nice I might get it one day I don't know but I've decided not to get it um I saw this in H&M and it's quite similar so I got this instead that's huge obviously it's not a bottom Sort of bottom, but it is shaped quite curvy and does remind you of feminine curves. It's a little scratch on there, but that's just come out if I just rub it. Yeah, so I got this and I got this, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna pair them together because there's not space for that on there, but I will separate them around the shelf, and I'm just really excited for what the shelf is gonna look like once I've put all these beautiful pieces on there both of them are vases so I can put flowers in them or pampas grass or whatever I feel I want to but I might not I probably won't I'll probably just leave it as it is but I'm really happy with these purchases this one was 9 dollars and this one was $19.99 so a fraction of the price for Anissa Kamiche's um, vases but obviously that's high fashion or high home high high home not high home fashion, what would you call it? High home, high home homeware, high homeware, high homeware. Do you know what? Whatever in it, we've gone with high street homeware, and I'm really, ooh, ooh, sorry, I'm really um, pleased with these two items. So then I got some sun dried linen diffusers from HM. Again, the diffusers are amazing. I had one. Um, in my closet and it finished and it was so I'm so bummed that I didn't get like three of those they were so good and H&M I do this stupid thing where they get things they put things in their stores and they don't get them back again so I haven't been able to find the same one since then but I'm gonna try this one out I'm sure it's gonna smell just as beautiful don't know if I'm gonna take it upstairs or leave it down here but I do feel like I need a new scent going through the house. So I got this. Did I get one? I think I only got, yeah, I only got one. And finally, you guys know I'm really big on cooking and um, food styling. So I got, I, I really want to create a very romantic kind of um, rustic lunch, so to speak. And style it really nicely and beautifully with like dry flowers and stuff. So I found these at H&M and I picked them up. So they are just table napkins, but they're linen, and I just love the colours. Um, I love the colours. I think they're gorgeous and will do amazing with some really good food styling. I'm saying my baby's crying. He's with his dad <laughs> and he's crying. I'm trying to get through this video. Um, but yeah, and that's all I got from H&M Home. So I hope you enjoyed the haul from H&M. Um, now we're gonna move on to the Zara Home Haul. So first up from Zara, I saw this, well not this one, but I went to my friend's house for um, the day, like a play date with the kids and her son and daughter and my two boys. And um, when she, like when we have dinner at home, we get all the sauces and they're just on the table. But I didn't think to ever get one of these. And she had one of these, not this one, but similar. And she had like all her ketchup. And it's what you have in restaurants, right? So it just made sense. So I'm gonna have this in the middle of the dining table, like when we have guests round or when we're having dinner, just put all the dressings, the sauces, whatever else, put it in here, salt and pepper, put it in the table and it's just in one place and you're not trying to carry everything at once or going back and forth from the counter or the fridge, trying to get things onto the table. So it just made sense. So I saw this in Zara and I actually really loved it. I love the black wired netting. I just, I love, I love it. I think it's really nice and goes really well with my kitchen. My kitchen's very woody, rustic-y vibe. So very good. So next up from Zara Home. So I've got these candles from a brand I saw posted by my friend called Lux, Lux Etched, Lux Etched. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the details on this. If I move out of the way, yeah. So it's like um, they're, they've got the ribbed lines in them and I absolutely just, I love them. I saw her um, putting them in her, her new flat or her new house 
and I had to get them immediately. They've got thicker ones as well like that. So I got them in two colours and they come in pairs. So when I was in Zara home, I picked up these two candle holders. They're very vintage, giving us vintage vibes. Um, back in the day, Einstein days. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love them. So I'll be adding this to um, the shelf somewhere or even the windowsill. But I think they're just so beautiful and work really well with my candles. I haven't opened them. I bought these months ago. But obviously didn't have anything to put them in. So um, I just waited. But now I do. So, yeah. Okay, so I got another diffuser from... Um, Zara home which I loved the scent I think the scent was very it was very floral but it's fresh and it's beautiful I mean I definitely believe it's going to fill up my house is that a delivery for us? no okay oh, I can get it open so it comes in this box oh it's quite big I didn't realise it was um this big but it smells beautiful. Comes with obviously the reed sticks. Love the packaging. I mean, it's very simple. Can't really go wrong with it. Um, don't know if I'm gonna put it in the living room or upstairs. Still undecided, but should last a long time. It's quite a big bottle. So yeah, 200 ml. Should last a long time. Perfume for the home. So I've got three minutes left of my camera to record. <laughs> I need to get some new memory cards. So fine, I think, yeah, this is the last item actually. So this is the last piece from Zara Home. And it was quite, it was, I think it's the most expensive piece that I bought out of everything from H&M and Zara. So it's a stone, like a very rustic, like antique bowl. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'm not really good with descriptive words, but um, yeah, it's like a clay bowl. I love the rough finish. That's what drew me to this bowl. Um, I love, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just natural and done in a very natural way. I'm really rubbish at this. I'm sorry. I don't know how else to describe it, but um, yeah, I love it anyway. I love the rusticness of it. I love um, that it's white and I love the matte finish, the matte paint finish. Because like I said, I'm not really going for glossy or um, any of that stuff at the moment. Really going for this matte finish. So yeah, really love this bowl. It was 39 from Zara Home. They had a smaller version and they had a tray. But I only picked up one because I felt like I had enough for the unit behind me as I don't want it to be over packed and whatnot gotta go now i just feel like i can't finish my videos properly i have to go now because my baby's actually crying i think he's hungry so um yeah guys that was the end that's the end of my haul i hope you enjoyed it sorry it's a bit rushed um i am gonna film myself putting this up as well in my vlog so make sure you check out my next vlog my ne my next vlog and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video let me know if you like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't been here before make sure you subscribe if you have make sure you leave your comments below i love receiving messages from you guys on instagram please if you could leave the comments below that would really help with my engagement and um just positive feedback on my youtube channel and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and leave any suggestions of other videos that you'd like to see i've got a lot of videos coming i'm sorry i'm a bit delayed with them but they are coming <laughs> and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye